We begin this morning with a one man's apparent suicide mission that caused tension in skies over Seattle for more than an hour Friday night. Authorities say an employee of Horizon Air, a regional carrier owned by Alaska Airlines, stole an empty turboprop plane from Seattle Tacoma International Airport before crashing it on Ketron Island in Puget Sound, southwest of Seattle. Amateur video shows the plane being followed by F-15 fighter jets before the crash. CBS News transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve is in our Washington bureau with the latest. Chris, good morning. Good morning. The FBI says this does not appear to be an act of terror. Instead, authorities say the 29-year-old Horizon Air ground service agent was suicidal when he stole the plane. It was not in service. It was parked in a maintenance area last night. Investigators believe the crash occurred because the man who appeared to lack flying skills was trying to do stunts. Cell phone video captured the moment the stolen twin engine Horizon Airlines plane does what appears to be a mid-air barrel roll before dropping down perilously above the waterline off the coast of Seattle, Washington. What the hell is this guy doing? This big passenger plane just goes sideways, goes almost like perpendicular right. to the ground and just flies, I don't know, like felt like a few hundred feet above the ground. In radio communications, air traffic controllers and a Horizon pilot refer to the man flying as rich. As they talked with him, it became increasingly clear the airline employee was not going to safely land the plane. I got a lot of people that care about me, and uh, it's going to disappoint them to, to hear that I did this. Just a broken guy, got a few screws loose, I guess. A pair of F-15 fighter jets were scrambled from a base in Portland, Oregon, and intercepted the Q-400 turboprop within minutes. They could be seen from the ground trailing the stolen plane. One was low near the plane and one was high way up in the air and they followed it around. And a few minutes later, we heard a loud explosion noise. The hour long flight ended in a fiery crash on Kentron Island, a small island with few residents. Investigators don't believe anyone on the ground was hurt and the fire does not pose a threat to anyone. It does not appear the man who stole the plane survived the crash. Apparently it was somebody who uh, did something wrong, uh, did something foolish, and may well have paid with his life. The man has not yet been identified. A spokesman for NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, says the fighter jets did not fire on the stolen plane. Flights out of SeaTac Airport were temporarily grounded after the unauthorized takeoff. The FBI will lead the investigation for now. Tony? Chris, you mentioned the plane was in a maintenance position at the time it took off. How was this individual able to get control of the plane and then get it on a runway? Well, we know he worked on the ground for Horizon, uh, so it would not be uncommon, particularly if he worked in the maintenance department, for him to know how to power on the airplane uh, and, and some basic pre-flight uh, procedures you would do to get the plane going. Uh, if you've got knowledge of how the throttle works and, and basic oh, controls of the plane, you certainly would be capable of taxiing it out to a runway, throttling it up and taking off. Landing is, is a lot trickier, of course. All right. Chris Van Cleve for us in Washington. Chris, thank you. Sure, thank you.